Welcome to another Mr. Mutech video. Today I'm going to show you how to connect the iPhone to the K400 Plus Logitech keyboard. So the first thing that you will need is actually an adapter because if you're using an iPhone 15 or 16, it will have the USB-C port. If you're using anything older, that will have the lightning port and you will need an adapter, which is a male to female. Okay, so I'll have a link in the description below for that that item. Okay, so basically what you wanna go ahead and do to start is you wanna go ahead and plug in that adapter to your iPhone. And once you do that, the next thing is you will have the Bluetooth receiver from the keyboard that you're also going to need to now plug into this. Now, this can be beneficial for a couple reasons. If you're wanting to do some type of thing for school where you're doing a presentation, or if you just simply want to maybe stream your iPhone to a TV and you want a convenient way to control it from a keyboard, that's a couple of reasons why you would actually do this. Now, from the perspective of looking at the iPhone and seeing this huge piece coming off of it, it's not gonna to work too well if you're trying to set your iPhone vertically, but if you're using it maybe like this in the landscape mode and you wanna use it for typing a document, this is gonna work just fine. So I'm gonna show you that this actually has functionality here. So what we'll do is we will go ahead and open up the Notes app. And as you can see, I have my keyboard. We wanna make sure after we plug this in that the keyboard itself is turned to the on position. So that would be green right here, as you can see. It's right in the back of the keyboard. Okay, so we wanna flip that on. And now I'm gonna actually show you that we can type and this will work just fine in Notes. So I'm gonna just type the letter L a bunch of times and you can see that it works just fine once I type different letters here. And you can use the keyboard functionally as you would uh, on your regular computer. Hopefully this helps you guys out, and if you want additional functionality with this keyboard, I'm gonna have some more videos popping up. Look in the comments below. I'm gonna post those links so that you can go ahead and use the mouse pad and add other function so that it's a little bit easier to use for your iPhone. Hopefully this helps you guys out. If so, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome day.